Now we're ready. We're going to be doing a demonstration of Poe and how compute points are used within it. For those who don't know, Poe is a, an AI app that contains a variety of AI tools slash large language models, which allow you to type something into them, such as please write a five-page book about how to be safe on the Australian Outback. Once you type that to a bot on Poe, that's a large language model, it will give you an output based on your request. Each of those bots you interact with have a cost per message or per time you talk to them, and that is paid for with compute points on Poe. For example, Claude Haiku 3.5 is going to cost, let's scroll just a little bit here, 95 compute points every time I talk to it. Let's give it our text prompt of, please write a five page book about how to be safe on the Australian Outback. And you can see it's writing in real time. It's just going and going and going until it says, okay, I think I've done everything that he asked for. So maybe you read that as it went by. Probably you didn't. Either way, we got to see that it was a lot of short, bullet-pointed sentences. And that's a way to write a book, especially if you want to get to five pages, because it fills up the verticality fast. Let's check out a different bot. Well. Let's actually go back. I'm going to scroll just a little bit to the top here. We're going to see how much that cost us in compute points. It should be 95 compute points. Clicking these three dots and clicking info on the message you just got back will tell you the cost of the compute points. And if you're a Poe user using the free account, you get currently in um, December 2024, you get 3000 compute points per day. Those renew every day. So if you use 3,000 today, log in in 24 hours, you'll have 3,000 again waiting for you. So that's a decent amount every month you get, but you'll never achieve more than 3,000 compute points in total on a free account currently. That's how they're set up. You can smash past that by paying for a subscriber account, and then you get a bunch more compute points. That's okay, you don't need to do that. Most of what we're doing in this video could be done with just the existing 3,000 compute points. Although there may be some bots that only subscribers have access to. I think we're using only bots everyone can use in this example. We'll click over and we'll look at a different bot that got that same prompt. Gemini 1.5 Pro. So I've already sent these messages, this exact same please write a five page book to each of these bots that Poe is very, you know, Poe has a lot of good bots. I'm using a lot of those good bots to do this prompt with. And we're going to see the compute point cost. This one costs twice as much nearly as Haiku. And we can look at the quality of these, the actual way they look, after we look at the comparative size of the compute points cost in these next couple examples. So we then jump up to one called O1 Mini, and you can see that costs way more compute points than the other two. Then there's one that is like Claude 3 Opus, which, which is the most expensive in compute points cost of the bots we've used. And on the other end of the spectrum, there are bots that cost very little to use, such as F1 Preview. That costs a single point. And then there's one called uh, Solar, Pro, which also just costs a single point. So every message I would send to this bot is going to only cost me a single compute point. And it's comprehensive. This message, same as all the other ones, I got back from this one compute point bot. It's, I've read these all, they're good. That's, I'll tell you, the most interesting thing to me about doing this test just literally sending all these different large language model bots the same prompt message to write this book and then seeing how many compute points they use. The most interesting thing to me is that it didn't actually matter in the 
output of these articles, how many compute points were spent. You couldn't tell that a, a one compute point answer was what you got compared to a 2,000 compute point answer. They, there was no direct correlation between how many compute points you spend and the actual good or bad qualities of the article you're getting out. So it's really interesting to see where the different bots excel. For example, some of them might have a better style of writing. Um, I actually found that the one generated by Gemini 1.5 Pro for a relatively limited amount of compute points had a really good style to it. It was like, I don't know, it just starts with, it illustrates stuff to the reader. It tells you what it's going to tell you. And it's five pages. So useful. What about that 2000 point one? How did that turn out? Because this one costs 2000 points plus compute points. That's more than two thirds of a daily budget for a free account on Poe. It's a vast remote wilderness. It's got some, here's some stats, 2.5 million square miles. Now I haven't fact checked that. So that's also important. If you get stats or figures or even facts that are dubious to you, check them out. Look for a consensus either by asking a different AI or a bunch of them, seeing if they all say the same thing, or looking for an article that is vetted online by a .edu, a .gov, um, anything that's got real information, not just a .com, is a good source of knowledge online. But a lot of these AIs have plenty of that knowledge from those sources I mentioned in their large language model database. So you can just get good answers out of them. You just may not get qualified. Here's who said that and here's why they said it and here's the date they said it. Unless you go to a website that cites its sources. And then there's other stuff. Sorry, that's a little bit of a tangent. There's other stuff like the, um, the F1 that only costs a single point. You could spend all day talking to this bot on a free account and never run out of your points because you can basically message it 3,000 times. And uh, that's kind of cool because look at it, it's, it's, not, it's not bad. And it's not even not bad, it's good. These, these are all accurate, good thoughts for someone going on a trip to the Australian Outback. Some of these bits of advice may be more general application, not necessarily Australia focused, but it is accurate. Don't do these things like not having sunscreen or not having a hat if you're going to be in the outback. And in the end, when you're using Poe, it's basically a super toolkit of just stuff that is ready to help you as soon as you need help. But until you know what you want to do, Poe is just kind of a thing. It's like, it's like a toolbox that's sitting closed in the corner of your room. It's, you have to know why you're reaching into that toolbox before that toolbox is valuable to you. Otherwise, it's just collecting dust. So if you have a writing project or anything you want to collaborate with someone else on, but for whatever reason, the thing you want to collaborate with just doesn't have a lot of experts around for you to talk to, Poe is great. Even a free account talking to one of these one compute point bots, you can facilitate so much back and forth thinking with yourself with these LLMs, large language models. And I hope that that has been a fun idea for you to take with yourself to the next thing you do today.